Investors are bracing for another big week of corporate earnings with a third of the S&P and almost half of the Dow uh, reporting. We can talk about Alphabet, Microsoft, Meta, and Amazon, just a few of the big names on deck. Here with what you'll be watching this week is Sylvia Jablonski, co-founder and CEO of Defiance ETFs. Uh, Sylvia, we'll start uh, from the top and then, and then head down to some individual names maybe or, or, or sectors. But overall, you are well aware, as we all are, of the... Uh, of the concerns, whether it's the Fed or the fear of, of a recession or uh, the consumer getting tapped out. But the overriding thing that you point out is that for 100 years, stocks have been the best performing asset. Maybe they're not cheap, but if you've got time, if you have the dollar cost uh, average in or however you want to do it over time, if, you've, if you're not right at retirement age, this may not be an awful time to, to, to be buying equities. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I think that, you know, there's always a reason to be in the market and there's always a reason to own one equity or another, particularly if you have a longer time horizon. So, you know, as you said, over the last hundred years, the annualized return of the S&P is 10 percent. So if you can hold out for the next couple of years, all of the things that we're worried about that you mentioned at the top there, the Fed raising rates, risk of a recession, all of these things are actually going to be resolved one way or the other. So, if you look at the S&P, for example, 20 percent of names have reported about 77 percent have beat. I know that's just kind of, you know, taking banks there. But um, the S&P is also up 7 percent first quarter. And when you've had that in the past since the 70s, there actually hasn't been a year where the S&P hasn't finished up for the year and to the tune of 20 percent or more. Um, earnings recession is defined as two negative quarters of year over year declines. Right. So we've actually had that X energy since second quarter of 22. So there's a lot of reason to think that we've already been in some sort of recession, at least in terms of the market and earnings and things like that. And if the Fed is closer to the end than, than the beginning, then maybe that picture from up top isn't as bad. But nevertheless, stocks are probably lower now than they will be in two or three years. So, you know, I think it does behoove investors to pick up some equities if they're willing to hang on to them for a couple of years. So yeah, there's a, a notion that <clears throat> if you can buy stocks at or near the last hike until they, they pause that you can almost like night follows day a year later stocks are higher be nice to know if this was going to be the last hike is that does anyone know what do you think you know I, I i think it should be i don't know if it will be you know you see pmi is coming down the jobs data is really strong but it's starting to soften a little bit inflation is actually coming down now um, it, it's looking like it's back in, in that linear path again. So I think that, you know, we, ha we had a mini banking crisis. We had a lot of fears. Again, earnings recession, things like this. The economy is slowing. I think, you know, it would be tough if the Fed just kept going. And I think, you know, in order to avoid a hard landing, the Fed would have to at least stop and take a look around for a while and, and you know, kind of uh, digest what the markets and what the economy are doing. So in my view, I, I think they should stop. You know, maybe we get one more hike in there, but... I don't even think that there's necessarily a need for that. But, right. you know, to your point, I think if the Fed continues to, fight, to, to hike, then, you know, stocks will become cheaper because the market will pull back. You mentioned the earnings we've already seen with the caveat that it's been a lot of financials. So this could be important this week. Do you think that, what did you say, 77 percent have beat expectations? Do you think that that's going to be the norm now? Or could things change significantly when we start looking at some of those names that, that we're looking at right now? So I think this is the first earnings season that everyone's probably the most unsure about Sylvia. what's going to happen. You know, in the land of the, in oh, the land of the pet, way that happens, isn't it? She's. I think maybe she wants a really, really good answer uh, for this one. So she's measuring her. Sylvia, can you hear? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Can, can I have you hear no me? Idea what's happening? No, she, I can hear. Her. You're you're the only one who can't hear. Oh no way! You can't yeah. hear Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia, we can oh, hear you. Can hear you. Yeah. We can well, hear you just well. fine. Right, sorry. <laughs> Keep on uh, going. I, you know, so I think Keep on trucking. The, the most worried about tech. Well, I want to know. I think will it be better? You know, I, we'll, I miss we'll, that. Will it be better or worse? <laughs> uh, so will it be 70s? Will it be? Uh, will they be beating like the the finances or not? Yeah, I mean, if, if all of the price cuts that the, if all of the, the layoffs and things that they've done improve mm -hmm. margins, I think there's a shot to stay at 77 percent, even with some of the tech spending slowing. But. Um, you know, it's, it's up in the air. I think there's a lot of uncertainty okay. here, and I think tech has to perform if we want to see the market keep going up in the next month or two.